Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So little Stanley here is in about two weeks time going to get neutered. So we get a lot of comments about neutering, why do you neuter them, etc, etc. So in this video I'm just going to do a really quick rundown of why we've neutered the boys, why you should neuter your boys or why you shouldn't because there's positives and negatives to both and it's your personal choice but I'll just give you a rundown of why we are and you can make your decision based on that. Okay, let's go. Reason number one reduces health risks. So first of all, prostate cancer, that's a big one, massively reduces that and there's also prostate diseases that it reduces so it doesn't fully reduce the risk but it does reduce it significantly to the point where you won't have to worry about it unless you're very, very unlucky. Number two, temperament. Now it will calm them down quite significantly because there's less testosterone in the body Again, that's not to say they'll be completely calm. They still can be quite mental, as our dogs have proven. But yeah, you will find in general it will calm them down a couple of pegs. Number three, they will mark less. Now, we haven't had a problem with these boys in marking. They've never actually learned how to mark. But if your dog is a marker, then they're going to have less likelihood of doing that without less testosterone. They don't feel the need to mark as much and show the presence because they don't feel as dominant as they once did. Number four, which is sort of like number two, aggression. So obviously with the less testosterone, they're going to be a less aggressive dog, much calmer, and they'll show a lot less dominating type of behavior. So you won't get as many conflicts with other dogs or dogs within your household. Your dog might not have this anyways, but it will reduce it if it does. Number five, humping. It will reduce humping. Obviously less testosterone, they've got less of an urge to do that. That doesn't mean it will completely stop it. Humping is a sign of dominance as well as like reproduction. And if a female is in heat, then they are likely to still hump because it's just a natural urge. But you don't run the risk of having any unwanted babies, so yeah, you just gotta watch out for that. Number six, and I think we've kind of covered this a little bit, but fighting, they won't be fighting anywhere near as much. Obviously with that less aggression, the less wanting dominant behavior. There's not as much alpha territory kind of things going on. They're just a lot calmer. They're not bothered by other dogs presence. They're quite happy just to get along and nobody's fighting to be the top dog. So yeah, that's all a positive. So you've got less of a health risk. They're much better with other dogs, female and male. And they're gonna be much more of a nicer temperament to be around in your house and everywhere you go. So let's talk about the negatives or the flip side of the argument. What if you want puppies? Well, you can't neuter your dog. It's as simple as that. If you are wanting puppies or to reproduce or to have further puppies down the line, obviously you can't neuter your dog because well, then you can't, so that's one reason not to. And personally for me, that's the only reason you shouldn't get your dog neutered. Now you can get your dog neutered at absolutely any time. It is advised to do it earlier on in life. I mean, we're waiting until six months, which is kind of the advice that's always been given. Some people will say to do it earlier. Some people want to do it later consult your vet or whoever you would want to be doing it. So I would recommend getting them neutered kind of as soon as possible because you don't want any of these behaviors to be ingrained, but you can do it later if you've maybe thought you wanted puppies or you've had puppies and then thought we want no more and then you can get them neutered so it's completely up to you but if you're going to get them neutered and not wanting puppies at all i would recommend as soon as possible now another argument for not getting them neutered is an ethical side of it which to be completely honest i think is an invalid argument completely so the argument is you can't just take an animal's reproductive system without their permission or whatever but you can't ask a dog's permission we've already taken them out of the natural habitat and owning them as pets so the ethical argument goes out the window straight away for having a pet in the first place so then we as humans as a superior species always have been always will be we are blessed with intelligence and technology we understand health autonomy risks cancer and all this sort of stuff that dogs have no idea about at all they are don't have a clue. It's our duty of care to look after these animals as best we can and to our knowledge because if they did go and get one of these diseases then what is the ethical side of it than taking them for an operation to get these things removed? It's the exact same thing except rather than putting them through that later on in life when they're ill you might as well do it now when they're healthy and won't remember it and if that means doing something a bit unpleasant to stop them getting something really unpleasant down the line then that's our choice to make and I don't think anybody should drag anybody down for making that decision. It's the exact same as us when we were children, our parents sent us for vaccinations against various diseases that none of us will ever have had or ever had to experience because of their decision making. So I'm very grateful I got sent for them vaccinations. I don't remember ever being sent for them vaccinations. I don't remember being scared of needles, but I can't remember them. It doesn't affect me. But what would affect me is getting one of these diseases and that would be horrific. And I'm sure everyone's heard the stories of anti-vaxxers and what they're doing and 
you know, don't be that person with your dog. It's your duty of care to look after this dog. Don't let nature take its course. We can do something about it. And this isn't a money making scheme that vets offer. This is like, you know, that's a whole nother rant for a whole nother day. So there you go, that's the reason why we're neutering Stanley and they're the reasons why we've neutered the other boys as well. Now I can't ever mention the ethical side of it without ranting or doing anything like that because I truly don't believe in it. Now just one more thing on the ethical thing actually, for us personally this won't relate to probably anybody else but us personally a good reason why we get them neutered is we don't want them having any babies, we don't want any puppies or pugs associated with our dogs at all and this is for an ethical reason because what we don't want is we don't want these being exploited as people sell them as that pug Pablo pugs or anything like that and making more money than they should, exploiting you guys as viewers who might want one of Pablo's babies because you love Pablo so much. We don't want anybody getting exploited. We don't want these getting exploited. And although we are here doing YouTube and making money from them, it's not affecting their lives in any way. But constantly making them reproduce and pump out puppies and stuff, that is exploiting them and we do not want to do that at all. So by getting them neutered, we just eradicate that whole thing and never get tempted by it because we can't physically do it ever. And I'm sorry if any of you were hoping one day you could get one of these guys puppies, but that will just never happen. But if you're from the UK and you are looking for a pug puppy, you could pick up one of these guys' cousins or nephews or whatever. I'll leave a link in the description to where we get these from so you can go get them from the same breeder who is a proper breeder. Breeds only healthy pugs because we wouldn't have a clue how to breed anyways, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did and peace out guys.